Hello, hello, my name is and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be playing some more survival, uh, create 0.3. Um, I think I briefly mentioned it in, uh, my, my stream just yesterday, but, um, a new, uh, patch for create has released that allows for some cool stuff. So that train turntable kind of thing that I've, I mentioned in a previous stream probably won't be too far off. Um, however, we aren't going to be doing that today. Uh, today I kind of, I'm a, I'm a little drained I reckon, so I just want to do some relaxing kind of building stuff uh, and getting stuff organized. Um, and we'll just, you know, talk a bit and have, and, and have a, have a nice day. It's a bit late, so... Um, so yeah, we're going to be focusing mostly on building today. Maybe do a kind of, like a tiny bit of contraption stuff. I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I've only spent like 10 minutes on this world since I last streamed. Um, and basically I just crafted up some acacia stuff and have kind of been, I, like I put in this little, uh, pathway that allows you to get back here and, and see all the stuff in the background. Um, we are going to be... Uh, like walling all of this area in and and uh, and roofing and flooring it and just getting it a little polished up um, without trying not to touch any of the um, the contraption or the cogs and stuff because those are cool um, so right now all I've done is I've added a little bit of stairs that go up here and then you can go around and stand over here and then you can go down here into the back um, and I also put a I, I had a um, chain gear shift where this chest was, connecting to this uh, gear, but now I've just moved it over to here, uh, so you can open the chest, and that's not going to change anything because the only thing this was powering was the uh, the arm. So, so anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, kind of um, finish this this little shop up a little. So I'm having a look at our, our palette here, um, and looks pretty cool, mate. Yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, so we'll just get this polished up. So this is going to be our storefront um, for our little tea shop here. So I think we're going to have like a, um, a counter that goes like L-shaped right here. Um, Oh, you know what? Actually, that hey, Millways. Yeah. So today we actually are gonna do one thing because I we might be making some chromatic compound today because I I learned a trick on the Create Discord um, on how to get radiance, refined radiance uh, before getting a beacon. So I do want to just check how do I get chromatic compound? Uh, powdered obsidian. We can do. Um, Glowstone, we can do rose quartz. We can do so. The only thing we'd really need to worry about is um, blaze cake, right? And the blaze cake, yeah. This is all stuff that we can do, right? Cinder flower, yeah. So we might do that um, a little bit later. Hi from Third Shift America. I didn't Third Shift America. Is is there like a a, a, a motor-based America now, or <laughs> shift, I don't know, uh, <laughs> or if that has a meaning, I don't know it, uh, I'm truly proud of this community, thank you QB, sure, um, sorry, it's not, it's not night time yet, is it, it's hard to tell, I don't have a clock, it's nearly night, okay, so let's think, what kind of floor do we want, let's have a look at our, like, stone types, and, hmm, well, what fl floor do I have back here? I use layered gabbro. We could use layered something for our floor. So, a lot of scoria. Hmm. Um, let's have a think. Maybe we should be using some kind of uh, dolomite acacia pattern. That white and white and uh, white and what's it called orange. I work from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. A.K.A. third shift. Ah, oh. so uh, 
Are you working right now? This mod is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no, nah, it's it's great. Um, let's so let's just get some stuff out of my inventory that I don't really need, and we've got some dolomite. Um, so yeah, we'll go and get maybe just some layered dolomite. Any thoughts on the 1.17 update? I love it. I love pretty much everything that's going on there. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like specific thoughts. Um, I don't know. I don't do much um, vanilla redstone-y kind of stuff, so... Um, well, I mean, I guess I, I do, but like I play mostly modded, so a lot of the vanilla features I'm probably not going to play around with, but I love seeing the kind of farms and stuff people are coming up with. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this be like a two wide border around most of this area. Yeah. Oops. And then we'll figure it out on our on our way. But yeah, I, I like a lot of the stuff with um with the one dot seventeen update. I just don't know how much of it I'm gonna like be playing with myself since uh, I don't do too much vanilla stuff. Glass pane railing, perhaps. Um, maybe somewhere. Not not here. I'm not going to... I like uh, these because you can put them on the sides of blocks, on the edges of blocks. How am I? I think I'm pretty good. Are, am I an OG player? Um, I've been playing Minecraft um, for a while. Pro probably seven, seven odd years. So not right from the beginning, but... Um, Ah, there you go. So let's also do that. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. God, it's it's a real it's a real uh puzzle to move around this area, isn't it? Probably should have done this floor um before beforehand. Oh, wait a sec. That was that was interesting. What just happened there? If I throw something on here, does it just like skip over the drain if it can't be drained? I didn't know that. Huh, what do you know? That's cool. Um So we need to go. I'm gonna have to reset this thingy because I can't um switch out the blocks underneath it, right? Or how do I? I don't know. Um. God, wait. So he's on a hopper, right? Now the hopper doesn't actually do anything right now, but God, this is a real awkward. Um. <laughs> the way I built this is really awkward. You really got me back into this mod from your streams. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. It's a great mod. It deserves the attention. Okay, we'll worry about that stuff a bit later. For now, let's do this center section. Uh, let's just grab Let's use um, these slabs just to save on a bit of wood.
Do you think they'll add a section to create where there'll be steampunk or automobile stuff? Um, no. I think specifically they won't add any um, vehicular transport apart from um, what's it called trains. And I think the reason is because um, a lot of uh, like non uh, what's it called a lot like trains are I think are a different uh, situation because you need to build an infrastructure for the trains to be able to transport. Uh, and with other forms of transport, it kind of bypasses that that setting up infrastructure, um, and and that's I think the reason that they uh, wouldn't want to add stuff. And a lot of people share that sentiment in the create Discord and stuff. How can I get this item? I can't quite reach it. Well, um, it'll just despawn there. Love your content, Ash. Keep it up. I'm excited to watch your channel grow and see your contraptions. Yeah, no, we're, we're actually uh, growing a lot recently, huh? Um, well, recently, I think we hit uh, 700 subs today on YouTube. It's real, real flattered. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I'm sorry for the, like, the people that um, are watching, like, from, uh, uh you know, the other side of the world, it's, it's real late for them, like, for, or really early for them. Because, like, for me, it's only, um, for me, it's only, what's it called? Uh, it's only, like, 5.30, right? So, I know for a lot of people, it's really late. Oh, right, there was something I wanted to do. Um, before last stream, I attached this little drill platform here because I wanted to dig a trench down. Um, and I, I put a place to block that so we can lower that. Um, yeah, wind, windmill is probably the easiest kind of starter contraption. Um, I think learning redstone is a very um, big help in learning how to really use create. Um, it adds a lot of cool stuff. Huh. What's all this stuff? Insulated plate. Oh, this is Tetra stuff, right? Yeah, I guess you could buy it. But I can't use it without a forge hammer anyway, so. I feel like they wouldn't feel like vanilla like most of the mod does. Trains are a lo uh, logical extension of my minecart system, whereas adding cars and stuff should probably be harder to make cohesive. Yeah, I, th I think that's a, that's a valid way to look at it, too. Um... It, it, that's you know I don't think that's the exact reasoning why um, well I mean that's just comes from my personal opinion in that create doesn't really feel like vanilla but a lot of people consider it to um, anyway let's um so what I wanted to do let's get this and So this will start lowering, no, it doesn't start lowering it down, one second. So is it not going to drill out that, that stuff? Oh, it is. Okay, it, it was just bugged, which is why I wasn't moving, but it was rotating. Woohoo! more tunneling you thought about making a full tunnel boring train with self-placing rails and all i mean i kind of have already made one um or, or something or on a minor scale i have uh, something like that but um uh millaways i live in western australia so this is afternoon for me oh yeah I guess, uh, yeah, it makes sense that more Australians would be watching me too, since we, like, I live in Australia. I, I just, you know, kind of assume that everyone's from America sometimes, right? Um, because, uh, most of my audience is American from my stats. It'd be handy for getting cities connected later. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I, I plan to do stuff like that, yeah. Um, uh... I don't, I don't, like, I think most of the rails I'd kind of want to place myself, but, like, 
tunneling out for the in infrastructure for, for trains, they would definitely do it like a self-building kind of train. So anyway, what we've got here is I'm just lowering these drills on this arm uh, to this point. It'll stop on those. So um, when it stops on that, we'll uh, just rebuild these drills so that it can sweep out another um, another circle like the one that we're on right now uh, for the diorite district. So we can also start building down there. Underground train network, yeah. I think I want to have most of my trains above ground, but they could go underground as well. Um, which is kind of how the um, the city loop works in Australia. Because um, I, I live uh, in uh, around Melbourne. I ride the train a lot. Um, and like most of the train, we don't really have a subway system. Uh, we have a train system that like has a lot of underground sections. Um, so building a couple underground stations would be cool. I think in this city is we're actually going to have underground stations or we're going to have an underground station that can go to other places. Um, now that like before we even start setting that up, we need to get this, um, city to a place where it's uh constantly producing something so we've actually got somewhere to freight that off to um you could use the underground ones for more cargo transport um and focus on above ground for your own transport i like i think um i don't know if i'm gonna separate the um the the cargo trains and the um passenger trains um, I mean, if you aren't already, you could theme the different cities with different things. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the core idea for this series. Uh, right now we're in the mining city, so it's going to be producing stuff like stones, or um, uh, it can't produce them, but it can be mining, like, all, all the stuff that you have to mine to get resources for. That's going to be in this, um, in this city. Am I winning? Yes, I'm winning. I, I'm, yeah. Sometimes I, you know, like, I don't know how to respond to that sometimes because I don't want to steal, uh, steal, you know, the, the winning son's line, you know? Roberto Yukoku. Anyway, um, so that's stopped now. So now what we can do is we want to turn off the fan up there and we can dig out another trench or I mean we'll just stop the fan and we'll dig out another trench another time um I don't know if I'll continue with it we'll see how I feel a bit I presume you're digging the walls for more stuff such as the tea shop yeah 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 um so how this city is working um let's see can I come over to the edge here so we've got the dolomite district then like all of our elevators are going to stop at different di like our elevators will stop at different districts and um, on each different district, we'll have different stuff. Um, so the Dolomite district is going to be kind of more of the... Um, uh, it, it's more of the utility. Or well, not utility. Um, it's more like... How do I say? Um, so like my workshop and the tea shop is there. Um, it's not really going to be for... It's not the industrial, right? We're going to have industrial probably in the Scoria district since it's pretty low. And then I don't know what we're going to do in the diorite district yet. Um, but um, the dolomite district, we've got stuff like my tea shop. It's going to be like the kind of shops and stuff, right? I think shops and maybe diorite can be general housing. Um, uh, you know, and that could be kind of cool. So that's stopped now. Anyway, let's um, do more stuff with this tea shop. So we've got this kind of um background area built out a little um now we kind of want to do the walls right um i don't want to like replace the floors under this redstone because it's going to mess up this clock and that'll be a little annoying right um out we could actually we we've run out of coal right let's um fill up more fuel in our um, blaze burner stuff. By the way, 
Uh, actually, you know what? There was one thing I figured out, um, or I found out. So, the blaze burner actually has like an internal inventory, um, that that can be filled. And when it's filled, the mechanical arm won't try to input anymore. And when it's filled, it like the 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 time of all of the fillings stack. So this time timer I've got right here is actually completely pointless. Um, yeah, so I might just uh, take it out. Um, cause the way this this yeah, so I I actually don't need any of this. Um, uh, so I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, so I don't actually need any of this timer. So I'll just uh, salvage that. Yeah, you notice that building your modular potion rule? Yeah, I saw that in the Discord. It was cool. Um, yeah. So um, and also on the on the create Discord, um, I was watching one of Darcy's uh, streams. Right. So it'll fill this up, and it, when it's full, it'll it'll just stop, and um, it, yeah, it's got an internal inventory. And for every item in the in inventory, it like stacks the the um the t the duration. So if you've got ten coal in there, um, pretend it's a furnace, right? If you've got ten coal in the furnace, it will um, smelt for forty items. No, oh, no, for um eighty items. Um, right. So. But as it stops, and it'll only fill it up once it runs out of the first one. So it's never going to overfill or waste coal. Even if it's constantly filling it. So yeah, I don't really need to worry about that timer. We can we can save the redstone. It's, so it's creating which other mods? Um, I use Quark, Supplementaries, Tetra, Terraforged, Biomes of Plenty, and Aquaculture. Um... So yeah, not not too many mods. It's really lightweight, um, and it's lightweight for a reason. Which I don't like bloat. Um, are the cogs entities? Uh, no, no, the cogs aren't entities. Moving contraptions are entities, but the cogs are blocks. Um, yeah. So it's not that laggy. I think they're tile entities. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Avali, you're right. So, yeah. Um, so they won't give you more lag than spamming chests or furnaces. Yeah, and they yeah, they won't die to a kill at enemies, obviously. Um, I don't I don't know if the contraptions will die to a kill at at E. Um, I'm not sure, but I think they wouldn't, but um they might. So, anyway, um, let's kind of think. So, what's a good um, what would be a good idea for what's it called for the floor of our of our tea shop, like the 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 lobby floor. Build a large elevator with super glue makes them entities that will react to kill. Oh, so large, so contraptions will die. Okay, good to know. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be using at kill anyway, so it doesn't really matter for me. Anyway, let's, um... Kind of, I want to encase uh, the area where I've got this floor going. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. So I can. I can fill this area. Um. Well, I mean, we'll have to replace this uh, with, um, the wall material later, but that's for later. 
Um, go for Birch. It fits the lighter palette um, of the Dolomite. Hmm. Bir Birch does kind of give a homely feel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, we're, we're going for the orange because it kind of looks... It gives a bit of that industrial copper feel. So I like using the orange, especially with the, the copper. But, um... I definitely will use, um, yeah, I think that birch is a good idea. Um, I don't know if we have any, so we're gonna have to see if we can grow some birch. I think we've got a bunch of bone blocks that we harvested from a biome earlier, so we should be able to grow some pretty quick. Yeah, I, I do like the idea of that kind of sand colored block for the flooring. You could do woven stripped logs. Oh yeah, no, strip logs would work. Um, where is my... Yeah, birch saplings, I have a couple. Um, for some reason I've had this bug where my, my saplings just like don't grow the bottom block. I don't know. Or these saplings don't. Um, anyway. Um, let's just cut these down first. Where's my crank? Yeah, but I know what you mean with woven. You mean like, um, stri strip logs that are, um, alternating direction, uh, in, in, um, like, uh, like, like this, right? And it's stripped. Yeah, I know what you mean. Cleric, you got that bug in your game as well. It might. I'm. I'm. I have a feeling it's to do with the terraforged, um, because terraforged I think adds those extra. Um, what's it called? Um, terraforged is the mod that adds the different tree growth like stuff. So, um, like the the, the what's it called? The trees, they can grow in different shapes, I think, because of Terraforged. So, what's my mod list? I, d I don't want to keep repeating it, so I'll just say that uh, if you join the Discord, I have a zip file for all of the mods in the Minecraft, it pinned in the Minecraft channel. I should probably just, like, put a proper mod list. See, yeah, no, it's happening again. Huh. Maybe I need to up update Terraforged. I don't know. Did that not give me a... Oh, I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to get any saplings from these ones. Come on. Really? Well, um, I do want to use birch, so I am going to, I guess, go on a quest for more. Or the biomes you'll go with work with Terraforge. Yeah, I guess uh, that makes sense. Biomes of Plenty does, and I'm using that, so... Um, anyway, I believe there's birched, there's a birch forest, um, somewhere in this direction. So if we're here, is it, I think it's here is the birched. So let's go in that direction. But, but if I had to guess, I think it's a bug with Terraforge. I don't think it, like, it doesn't apply all the time, obviously, because um, I, I didn't have that bug when I started this world. Um, it might have been when I updated Terraforged or or something like that. It's not a big deal. It Like, it robs you of one wood, but... Um, I mean, it's, it's a, I guess it's a pretty big deal for... Uh, what's it called? Um, tree farms because you want to have the saw on the bottom block and if there's no log there that'll be annoying but are the balms you go is cringe i don't think it's cringe no um it's a good it's a good bio mod i just wish um uh it it focused on um properly implementing like or dictionaries for all of its wood types um because a lot of the wood types aren't compatible with um, modded recipes that use wood uh, or stuff like that. 
like you can't make cogs with the buttons from other biomes you'll go wood types which is a little annoying so I think it, it needs some polish and it needs to be less um, blocks for the sake of blocks and and like have the blocks be a bit more ro robust than their features I guess I put the saplings in a one block hole so it just acts like a normal tree hmm that could work this horse does not have good jumps so I'm just gonna have to wade through that pond damn that's so weird that's a uh, this is chunk generation era maybe when I updated some mods um it did this right it, this is definitely chunk generation right f3g yeah yeah there's chunk chunk borders huh it's weird MC abnormals is much better I, I don't know I haven't tried it yet so I don't know oh there's a little turtle Come on, where is the birch? It's right here, right? So I should go this way. I should definitely look into MC abnormals, I guess. God, there's a lot of chunk borders. Um, that's kind of annoying, huh? I wonder what, what, what time I... I mean, I'm not going to go like back on my updates. Um, but yeah, I guess this is just going to have to be a thing I'm going to have to live with in my world. There's going to be chunk borders everywhere. Since, since I'm like always updating the mods, I guess I probably shouldn't. <laughs> there, there's batch. Okay. Chunk borders look cool, but they, I don't know, um, I, I guess they can look cool, but, um, it, it does kind of, do I have easy villages? No, no, I, I, I make a, an effort to not install any mods that will make, um, my life super easy. Um, I think it's a, um, it's, it's not what I like to do with my with my games um, I think it's it actually demotivates me from playing in the worlds yeah it ruins the immersion if you had chunk borders yeah I, I agree um, it's not that bad but um, it definitely you know it also like for when I get my future cities um, they're all going to be pretty far apart, so I'm going to have to go through those chunk borders um, to get to my other areas. You're thinking because the Terraforge settings are glitched? I mean, it's because in um, in 1.16, I don't even have Terraforge settings, right? Um, or when I created this world, the, the settings wasn't even available. Um, but anyway, I, I could think about it as like, oh, it's part of the lore, I guess. Opportunity for terraforming, yeah. I mean, I think kind of the reason I in installed Terraforged, though, is because uh, it means you don't have to terraform nearly as much, but... That's an interesting kind of lazy way to chop mine. Yeah, um, it makes gathering wood a lot easier. Um, and... And I like it because it requires a bit more thinking than just installing tree kappa data and uh, like spamming, you know, your axe around. Um, there is um, an item we can get, um, you know, pretty soon actually called the deforester that'll let us do that. So you can probably retire that thing. Um, not too far in the future. It doesn't. Does it work on big trees like two by two? Um, it does, but you have to do a little. You have to trick it a little. So, um, if you have wood like this, um, so I can I can actually display. Um, where is my? Yeah. So. 
if you do, yeah, the Radiant Alloy Axe does this. So you can see it won't um, cut the entire thing. However, if there is only one block at the base, um, so if you were to do this and then place that there, you can see now it should break the entire thing. So that's how you can kind of trick it into breaking bigger trees. Just join what other mods are you playing with? Join the Discord and uh, look at the Minecraft channel. There is a, a, a mod pack file you can download. All right. Um. I wonder how, when I'm going to have enough. Maybe I'll get three stacks total. So drung jungle trees are going to be so easy now. Yeah, no, um, you can get a lot of wood really easily with this trick, um, early game. It, it's very useful. Um, if, if you're not a, it's it's like it's a little exploitative, but I don't think it's that big a deal. I think it's more it just helps you save time um, for like actually working on your cool contraptions. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't post links. Um, like e even if even if it is relevant, if you post links, uh, the YouTube won't like it. So yeah, it's probably safer not to. Um, where's my horse? Yeah, you want to keep an eye on him. So yeah, the the oh the entire list oh um oh whoops I placed the wrong thing down. Um, and maybe I should up update the mod list. I don't know. It's 40 mods. Um, I've got 40 mods installed, so I don't actually think it's a big list. It's, it's considerably small for a mod list, actually. But um, uh, but you know, it, it's still it's still going to be long, right? Oh yeah, yeah, this it does work. Oh stop no. Whoop. Um, thank you for the follow uh mil milfer that sorry. I, I need to kill this before I can read your name properly. Um mi Mifra left. Come on. No, didn't wanna Alright. There's a lot of uh, mobs around, huh? Um, what can I throw out? This no, I don't want to throw out the lead. Ah, oh, god damn it! So many mo so many mobs. Okay. You can use a little script to create a list from all the file names in your folder. Um, there might be a file in the zip with the list. Yeah, maybe there is. I should check. Anyway, I need I need to focus and not die because it's we're a little far out and I don't have an, a second horse to lead me here. Wait, I should, um, one thing I should do is I should equip my extendo grip so that I can, um, get a bit of range. I gotta go to preserve my data because I'm in a blackout. Oh. Yeah, uh, see ya. I hope your your um your power comes back soon.
I didn't bring a bed with me, so I can't sleep off the night right now. I do kind of want to collect um, bones that I see. Like, we don't need to, because we can just... Um... Can we get the seed? I love the biome you started in. Um, you mean the acacia biome? Uh, I just recommend... Or, um... If you install Nature's Compass, um, it can be pretty easy to find the, the right biome that you want to build in. I just... Where's the, M the the horse? Um... It's it's somewhere around here. Like I like it's it's not uh it, it wouldn't have gone too far off. It's right here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can we escape quickly? Oh come on. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. I forgot that I can break um a lot of leaves at once. Um with uh with this machete that i've got anyway um i gotta kind of just run i guess is the biomes mod biomes of plenty yeah i am using biomes of plenty um uh, with terraforged yep um terraforged is the terrain mod so if you like the terrain you should use that um and if you just want to find a biome then just i'm not giving the seed um just because um, if, like, the seed will, what's it called? Um, the seed won't really, uh, help because, um, I'm updating the mods all the time, so the seed changes depending on what state of the game you're in. What tool is this? I'm using Tetra. This is, um, it's a modular tool mod. You can switch out the different parts and stuff like that. Okay, let me get off this horse so it doesn't die. And try and get some space. What is my uh, end game goal? My end game goal is I want to have um, a bunch of cities scattered around the landscape uh, that each have a specific purpose, um, and and uh, they like transport resources between each other using. Um, uh, using trains. That's my end game goal. Uh, Tetra is like Tinkers, right? Yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, it's a, I think more vanilla flavored. I don't understand you well from Russia, but I like you. Thank you, Myth. I've got a couple friends from Russia. Trains are cool, yeah, yeah. The trains are like um, a lot of the reason I even decided to um, start doing this playthrough because trains became available in this uh, create 0.3. Yeah, so basically to make the world interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's a way to put it. I want to create a cool world. Um, that's got like a lot of infrastructure. I want to use the seed in my own pack, but I guess I'll use nature's compass. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I, I can do one. Let me, so that's the seed. If you really want it. Um, if you download the first version of the mod pack from um, uh, from, what's it called? If you download, uh, the, the first version of the mod pack from, uh, my Discord, it's the first pin in the Minecraft channel. I think it'll give you the right, the right place, but do you know a word on Russian? Um, Privyet? I don't know what it means, but I know Privyet, uh, is something. <laughs> You could try connect uh, the cities with a large cargo train. Yeah, that's exactly what I said I'm going to do. Let's um, connect some of these bone blocks. Um, what can I get rid of? One sec. There we go.
Privet, Privet's hello? Okay. What's thank you in Russian? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know that one. Yeah, I have a I have a Russian friend that recently um I think he recently got conscripted. Um so I haven't been able to talk to him very uh much recently, but but um apparently he's been doing fine. Spasiba, yeah, that, that's something. I don't know what it is, but I've heard Spasiba as well. Idea, your next city could be a bunch of buildings suspended on balloons and propellers. Maybe use Rin with... Ooh, that's a nice idea. I like that. Spasiba is thanks, okay. Vodka. Vodka's not really a... I mean, I guess it's technically a Russian word, right? Um, so let's just... I, I do like the idea, like uh, a bunch of, like, uh, floating air balloons. Um, I don't know how... It get the trains up there. I'd have to do some funky like train elevators, I guess. Um, but that's possible, so. So yeah, I do like the idea. Desert city built out of sandstone spheres, also using wind power. Yeah. Lots of cool ideas. Um, have a bridge extends upwards by bef before the hand, maybe. So in the zip file on Discord, uh, there are all the mods you're using, or just create all of them. All of the mods I'm using are in the zip file. Um, it's a mod pack. It's a mod pack. Um, I'm not gonna go over how to install the mod packs. I just I recommend using CurseForge and then look it up from there. Is there a 1.16 mod that stops your horse from wandering? It's there is a oh, it's stupid horse stand still, huh? Well. I'm not, I'm not gonna add too many mods to the pack since I, I don't, like, not all of the convenience is really necessary, but I've always liked the look of, uh, helical vertical wind turbines. Yeah, I, I actually, um, I was gonna have a, a giant wind turbine above this hole, but, um, it was too big so that it's, um, it, it's a little difficult. One sec, I got a notification on my phone and it was really loud. You're the first streamer who responded to my comments. I love. <laughs> um, I, it's just I think because I'm a pretty small streamer, um, I can read the comments. So, a magma reactor at the bottom of it using small fans. I could, yeah. Uh, the 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 actual problem though with um having a giant uh wind turbine in the hole is that um, what's it called? Um, it's it's that it's it's very big and it caused lag, right? Uh, in my test world, I found it dropped like 20, 20 frames, so. Um, anyway, let's, um, get some stuff that we don't need out, so all of this stuff can go. How big is the hole? Um, it's like 20 block radius, I think. 20, 20 block radius, yeah. So, pretty big. Um, so right, we were gonna do, I think we can use a scoria, like a dark scoria border? No, no, we've got the dark scoria here. So we want it to accent the walls. So we can use a normal scoria border in the floor. No, or uh, actually no, we'll use this, yeah, white stuff. Uh, Lifesavers hard candy, thank you for the follow. So let's get dolomite. And what kind of dolomite should we use? Um, polished? Sure. 
Sure, let's just get a sack of polished. Oops. Uh, we should restock on our <laughs> giant supply of bread. Hello, Devon Allen. Anyway, let's, um, so over here, whoops, I forgot, I can instant mine dolomite now with, um, the honing upgrades I've got in this diamond pick. Do I have any other honing? Not on, on the tools that I care about. Polished. So you can do this. Um, it's kind of too fast, actually, having the instant mine. Well, you can stream on both platform. Yes, I can. Um, uh, unfor like it's limited to like Streamlabs Premium, but one second. Matt, Matt, why do you have a a crown? One second. What? Oh, it's a prime. Uh, whatever. Um, it's a prime thing, I guess. Uh, I've gotten into Create Mod recently and ended up stumbling across your videos. This is the first stream I'm checking out. Cheers, man. Um, Create's actually, it's been really good for me. Um, so, and, uh, so I'm glad to see all the new people and stuff. Um, no, I wanted this. So we'll polished all the way here and then in here we want to go and do a kind of uh, crisscross pattern but we want I uh, like our, our counter over here let's um bring our woodcutter over and see the kind of stuff stuff we can make with birch I really think they need to add a woodcut or in or a sawmill in, in vanilla Minecraft. Just for the stairs and, and trapdoors. Like trapdoors are way too expensive. That's the entire reason I, I installed this mod, because building with trapdoors is like my favorite thing. Oh one sec, I accidentally clicked off the um multi stream chat. I hope that didn't kill the auto scroll. Um, the, you do like the idea of magma updraft power. Maybe close area to bag, bedrock is Marva magma block craggy after towers of fans to harvest the updraft. Yeah, no, I've, uh, I've mused on the idea of that too. Um, stairs cost three planks too much. Trapdoors should be 16 for the recipe. I think trapdoors should be, um, I think uh, 16, maybe too much. I'd be happy if they were like, uh, just um, what's it called I'd be happy with it just being um, eight um so let's see what are the kind of birch textures we can go for here um, so we've got huh Birch trapdoors we could use in some capacity. I think doors are too many for the recipe. Um, I don't think doors are too many for the recipe, but you never need that many doors, which is why it feels like too much. But yeah, it really doesn't make sense that um, doors and trapdoors cost the same amount um, of, of planks, yet doors give you three and trap goals only give you two per recipe. It's kind of backwards, um, which I need that deeper there. Okay, let's get rid of those. And now we can place some stuff down. 
Um, something tropical feeling, yeah. Um, I think we'll start with uh, this pattern here. Uh, let's get this. Whoops. Um, we've got to do it this way. So this goes like this. And then we can go Yeah, and you can kind of add this alternating texture. Nice. All right, and um, I, I'm trying to figure out where do I stop it um, for because I I want a bit of a lobby with um, some like tables and stuff, and then a counter. The counter can go like right here. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do this. And to separate being like behind the counter, we'll just use, um, birch. Like this. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, I kind of do want to get this under the deeper and actually there too. Like there we go. One block before the machine output. Sorry, what was, I, um, I think I don't understand what that means. Um, anyway, let's go. So we've got to go here. And we can, whoops, do that. So that's enough birch for now. And then we want to go, um, so we're probably actually going to move this deeper right here. Um, and this spout to, to another place. Um, Oh, that was when you were asking for the distance before stopping the pattern. One block before the machine output right here. Yeah, I, I guess that's exactly where I put it. Um, but we are, we're not going to keep this output here, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Layered dolomite could create a slab countertop, a cool slab countertop. Maybe. I kind of want to um, have something that's not like a full block. Um, let's have a look at dolomite. Ooh, uh, I know what we're going to do. Um, let's go for this paved. Yeah. So we want to go, oops. Oh, that's the woodcutter. That's why. What time show your watch? I have uh, 10, it's about, um, it's, it's just before 6 p.m. for me today. Yeah, don't get um, too mad at people asking for the, the mod list um, uh, because not everyone was here when I say check Discord, so. Let's do this and this. Oh, you didn't mean to do the caps. Okay. Let's do something like this and then the countertop. Oh, I need a, I guess we can just keep running back and forth. We don't need to move it every time. All right, so um, let's get some trapdoors. Ah, oh, go away. So 
So this could be our kind of countertop for um, our villager that we'll put back here. Um, and then we want to have, we do actually, I think, want some, have you ever heard of solar updraft towers? Um, I haven't, but, um, I can, I can imagine what that'd be. Um, solar updraft towers sound like something like you've got like a metal plate that is heated by the sun and that heats the air above it with a turbine above. I'm guessing that's what it would be. Um, I mean, I might be completely wrong. It is, it, I, it is literally just a guess. But I'd imagine like they'd have a metal plate that's heated, yeah. Let's do, um, no, not quite that. Um, maybe we go for slabs there. So if I were to get this down, and if we have a villager back here now, he won't be able to get out. So that's fine. What is the area you're building right now? I'm building a mining city, um, but this specifically is a tea shop. Um, right now, how it works is you put fuel in or coal in here, or actually any fuel works, um, and you put leaves in here, and they'll go into there. And this entire tank right now is full of tea, um, which is this stuff, right? So we drink the tea, put the bottles down, they'll get filled, and then we can take them uh, off, and it gives us tea. You could build a town around one with fans and windmills in the center providing mechanical power. Mm, yeah. We've got lots of cool ideas we can do for um for that kind of stuff. Um What does the tea do? It gives you haste for 3 minutes. Um, let's do something like that. And no, how would, how would I, how would I do this kind of, uh, bar like that maybe no I don't like how that looks how often do I stream um, I try to stream every day um, today is a bit late um, but yeah Stola, um, for, for links if you want me to look at them uh, you're better off posting them in the discord um, if you want me to check something out, I'm not going to look at it during stream. Is T from Create? Yes. Yes, it is. Otherwise, like, all of this stuff is Create. Um, I don't think I've used a single block in this area that isn't from Create. Except, I guess, this chest, uh, which is just the spruce chest from Quark. But, but like, pretty much everything here is from Create. It late? It, it's morning in Euros. Ah! Uh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I, I like, I don't know. When I say for most people, I usually just refer to America since that's usually most people, since most of my audience is American, but. St Stola, um, I don't know if your like message accidentally sent twice, but please do not send the links in the channel. Um, Um, yeah, if you, if you do it again, I, I will at the time you out. So let's uh, think about what we can do here. Bye. Yeah. See you, Miff. I came here from the tunnel ball vid. I didn't even know you could do that. It's super cool. Yeah. You can do so much stuff with this mod. Solo is going to get put in the forever box. I don't want to, 
I, I don't want to time him out because he's, he's like he was one of my first first viewers. I don't think I don't think he'd, he'd be doing um, promo stuff. I think it was just a mistake. It's half past five in the afternoon in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's not not late for me or for Australians. It's late for the majority of my audience. Anyway, let's uh stop stalling. Um, or I need to stop stalling. So let me. Um, let me get a, Australia does exist, of course it exists, I'm from Australia. It was a create vid with a Rick Roll at the end, oh I've seen that, yeah, someone posted in the create discord, um, like a, a couple days ago. Hmm. Maybe let's do something like this. Um, actually, let's get another one. What fluids are added from Create? Um, there is a chocolate fluid. Um, there is a tea fluid. And uh, let's actually have a look at Create. Um, and a honey fluid right so you can like uh drain honey and, and like and milk and stuff um you can make chocolate you can make uh and, and tea tea is another one um it's not showing it here but tea is another yeah chocolate honey tea milk and potions yeah potions i guess count too Murdus adds a chocolate, honey, and tea. Those are the liquids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can place chocolate. Yeah. Uh, all the uh, mods, uh, the liquids create ads you can place. So, yes, you can have a chocolate river. Let's do something like that. Um. Hmm. Let's um, move this and this, and oh, that's, uh, that's actually going to place if I don't get my copper pipes soon. One second. Um, where are my copper pipes? I wish Create could add wireless gear power. Um, I don't think that fits personally, but... Um, I think if that runs right there, it's not going to do anything bad. Let's do this. Or actually, uh, one, one thing we can do is let's go back a block and we'll put this here and then we'll have, um, this stuff inset into the wall. Um, I, I was musing the idea in a previous stream of we could have like an arm that like swings around um, for the T, but I think um, it's just, it, it's going to be too convoluted. Um, and, and even though it would be cool, I, I don't think um, it'll be worth it. So right now we've got this kind of area. This is the counter. Yeah. Yeah, create pipe strip. It's good for seeing what liquid's going through and as well. I like it. Uh, it kind of breaks the mod, but you could probably try and get someone to convert create talk into IE power and vice versa. Yeah, um, you can kind of do it one way. If you have IE, um, you can make the furnace engines work um, without any fuel, with just um, I, with just the electricity. But you can't do the other way around currently. Um, one way to do it though is just um, have it so rotational power can power a um, a kinetic dynamo from immersive engineering, and that'll and that'll work. 
So anyway, I, I want to have, um, I think, a, like a bunch of, like these can kind of be like vending machines, I guess. Um, but let's uh, try and like frame this. Like how do we, what backboard do we want? Um, I don't want to use too much of this. Maybe we can use a bit of this uh, scoria. T doesn't have a liquid block, I don't think. I think it only works potions, milk, and liquid. We can test that. Um, do I have a bucket? We can test it, though. Do I have an empty bucket? Um, huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we have an empty bucket. Aren't you able to just make the gears from create spin fast really easily? Um, yeah. But you, I mean, you would have to like um, give uh, the kinetic dynamo like a stress. Like it, it'll have to take in the stress of the network as well as the speed. Huh. So you can't. Uh, I guess you can't place um, T as a as a block since it doesn't fill up the bucket. So that answers that question, I guess. Anyway, let's get some scoria. Got this stuff. Um, so I think we want to go, let's have a look at what kind of stuff we can do. Let's get some pillars. Let's get like 16. I think there are, uh, there are ways to balance it, but Treated wood looks really good with create aesthetic. I think treated wood looks great with any aesthetic, but <laughs> um, Anyway, so we want to get maybe maybe these fancy bricks See how this works I like jumping up and hitting the lanterns. It's fun. This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's odd. Nice. Um, I think I also want to get rid of those. Okay, so we want to go probably like chiseled in the corners here. And then pillars. Can you do them sideways? Yeah. Maybe we can just do it like this. I think that doesn't look too bad. And then we can have the the spouts lined up. Um, and we'd want to like, if we do this, what happens? Um, I don't think we'd want to do that. We'll figure something out. You could probably just code something to check a furnace is attached to a furnace engine to make it stop working. Um, oh, for that, for that, um, trick. Yeah, I guess you could. I don't, I don't know if you need to, um, but like you could definitely probably do it with like a data pack or something. <laughs> or a small mod. Anyway, um, so one... I guess I want to kind of do this as well. Yeah, and for this, I don't know if I want all of the walls to be scoria. Hmm. I'm going to nod off for the night and have a great evening. Yeah, yeah, you too, mate. Hmm. What mods do I use? Check the Discord.
Okay, so we're up here. I think we can do that. Let's um get some dark scoria around. Ah. We we'll use lay it on the bottom and then fancy on the top, right? So let's just get a bunch of that. I think I'll also keep the theme of using acacia wood kind of banding up here and it kind of goes with the copper. Oops, there. I like that. Do you know you can entity deflecting make shield generators with fans and nozzles? You can entity deflecting make shield generators. Um. I, I think I know what you mean. Like, um, nozzles will blow all entities around, uh, with a, like, if you've got a fan attached to it. Yeah, um, I guess it would, it would be pretty small and it would also push you around, but, um, like, yeah, I can kind of see. Um, like, it would prevent mobs from getting around your base if you had it all around, like, a fence with it. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah, you've been messing around with that, yeah. So it does sound pretty fun. Um, let's see, what we want to do here is... Probably polished. Does air affect projectiles like arrows? Yes. Uh, yes, I believe it does. If it's strong enough. Um, but I, th I think it works similar to bubble columns in that it will affect it. Because I, um, I haven't tested it, but I do remember seeing a video of someone having like a max power fan pulling up through a... Um, yeah, see you, Mattis. Um, pulling up through... Um, like a chute. And uh, as it pulls up through the chute, it like sucks the arrows through. Sword and pickaxe is not from Create, it's from Tetra. Um, is tea a reliable food or just a drink for gaining haste? It's it's uh, not a good food at all. It gives you one haste. Uh, it gives you one uh, hunger and, and one haste. So no, it is not a reliable food at all. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about these trapdoors. I feel like they kind of block the depots a little too much. So I'm going to remove that. Um, yeah. Okay. What do I want to do up here? I could go uh, get some. Let's get, how, how many do I need? Like three or four? Let's get five. Probably should make more just in case, but we got a bit of an idea for how we want to do something here. Um, we could, oh, I only needed three. We could do something like this to kind of uh, add this black accent a little back and then maybe hmm oops god damn it the instant mining is too quick When you're gonna place builder's tea, 
Uh, oh. Now. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had it there. Yeah. Um, where's my pickaxe? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do on this wall, but... Hmm. I might place some... Um... I don't know how I'm going to, like... Because I, I want to have a back wall, but I don't want to cover up any of the stuff here. So maybe I'll use acacia trapdoors. And I don't know what to do here either. You could use uh, conveyors to move iron golems to one spot with an iron farm. Yeah, you could. Um, but you can also use water streams. So, like, conveyors could be faster, but... Um, anyway. What was I going to do here? I wanted to try some stuff. If I do this and that, I wanted to go like, um, I'll just see if I could do something like that. And maybe, maybe this, I don't know. I'm just trying stuff out and then we can put uh, like a lantern right here. to add some light. Uh, where are my lanterns? Do I have them here? Yes. I remember someone a few streams ago talking about like pink lights to sp spell out t Tixie Tubes thing. Ah, right. Um, we need name tags for that. Uh, so we'll need to get a max level librarian or do some fishing. Um, but we can use Nixie tubes. Um, we could do something like that there, or maybe here. I don't know. Stola, did you mean that Russian is like Latin in that you don't understand them? Because I'm pretty sure Russian is not a it's not a Latin based language. <laughs> Something clawing at my door. Might be a dog. My sister recently got a, a puppy. Um, <laughs> even though I think uh, <laughs> almost everyone in the family was discouraging it because we don't think that she'll be able to take good care of it, but. Um, let me, I guess, put this stuff out, and yeah, let's let's get this working like that. Nice, and then we can put more of these up here. Where do I live? Uh, Australia. I live in Melbourne. Um, and then up here, do I want to go for the same kind of thing I had? Whoops. Let's go like this. All right. I wish I could like have some modes on my, um, pick so I could say it's not always way too fast. Anyway. So I need four more chiseled and then um, four more pillars. So one, two, three, four. 
Isn't it some stuff like Latin? Like you don't need stuff like to, are, uh, the, but you use different words instead. I mean, I think a lot of languages that aren't English do that, but. So I think maybe you're just generalizing a bit too much. Um, anyway, so what do I kind of want to do here? I don't know. We'll figure it out. So let's um, craft a bunch of spouts and depots. Let's just get that fill filled out. Do you intend to make a train and a mob farm? Yeah, I intend to make a bunch of stuff. Um, how do you make a spout again? Just not now. Fluid tank, so I need four, and then four more depots, okay. Four, and... Four. That's four more depots. Let's uh, get rid of the stone that we don't need. And the wood we don't need. What projects are already complete? Um, my workshop is mostly complete. I've got a bulk uh, manual bulk processor, um, like kind of andesite, autom uh, andesite alloy automated, um, and I have um, this pressing station, grind wheel, and crafters. Um, the hole is dug out. Uh, the elevator, or this elevator is done. Um, and I've got like a house, but not too much stuff is like, you know, super completed. This tea shop will be completed pretty soon though. Uh, where is my... I'm gonna need more copper. And four of those. Do I have, um, there, okay. Yeah, we, we've had like a lot of streams, but I, I haven't done, uh, too much, I don't think. Um, uh, we can actually do this and create these. And we need a bit of glass. Where is that? There. And then we can make our four spouts. There we go. Um, I forgot that I don't really like how um, uh, like this pipe looks. I don't, I don't like the um the junctions of the pipes too much. Well, well I can't really do anything about it, but. So here's our tea vending kind of stuff, um, or our, our tea dispenser, and all of these will be filled up with tea soon. This is our tea tank, which you can kind of see, which is nice. And then let's get like um, a, a kind of wall here. What kind of wall should I use? Um, maybe. Maybe acacia fences. Let's get a bunch of those. Uh, 
Um, and then we can do something like this. Yeah. Um, I don't like this one right here though. So maybe we also get rid of this one and then use something else as kind of the caps there. So let's have a look and think. Could use kind of black scoria, I guess, to border that. Hello, Crowbar Jones. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Copper casings might make the pipes look better. We can try it. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see. Uh, no, it, it didn't. <laughs> it's too bulky. Let's take those off. We could use copper casings like here though. Maybe. Hmm. You like the pipe junctions? Yeah. I think I, I would like them more if this one was also a pipe junction, but because of how I've got it set up, I'd need to have the pipe running through the wall or up if I wanted it to be a pipe junction too. Um, I prefer um, the immersive engineering pipe junctions, I think. Anyway, so we need, um, let's get a bunch of, oh, I've got some trapdoors, but let's get a bunch because I use so many acacia trapdoors. We're never gonna, you know, hurt for wanting more. Um, and I think I wanted to try that dark score, yeah. Let's get these as well, sure. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of those. And we can go like this, this. You can't really have encased cogs, can you? That would be a pretty cool addition, actually. Encased cogs. Um, so that's gonna look weird. So I'll just cover it up like that. Yeah, it's like um, protection. So you don't like um, get your hand stuck in there or something. Sure. And then we can do that and that. And we can do this. And that. So now we've got a bit of a rail. And that allows you to get up here, okay. I like that. How's Create been? Great, I love it. It was a great mod. Let's do that, there you go. So yeah, now we can kind of uh, see through to the mechanisms behind the bars. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And let's um do something like that, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe I should just bring it all the way across. So let me give that and then um, we can finish off the, oops, what's it called? We can finish off the, this stuff. Uh, the best rotational force generator is a uh, furnace engine. I'm not using them because um, I don't need them. I don't need a lot of rotational force or SU right now, but but the best is definitely that. 
Anyway, where is my acacia? Um, it also requires that probably the most setup though. Um, windmills, like a max power windmill is like pretty much just as good. Oh, wait a second. No, I think that's fine actually. I was gonna say like I wanted this to be kind of at the corner there, but it doesn't really have to be. Um, one thing I do kind of want to do though is if I get rid of those. Okay, and now I can. My phone is almost flat, so I'll have to go and let soon unless the power comes back. Yeah, see, unspoken. Do you plan on refueling the chest behind the fences? Oh, uh, you're right. Sorry, I I I will um get that fixed in a second. I, I forgot that I need to access that, don't I? What am I working on right now? I'm working on uh, my tea shop front. So let's do like this. And then over here, let's um, So I want to be able to access that for the refueling. Um, so let's do something like uh, like that, like that. Then oh no, one sec. Let me get in here a bit. Um, I need to go over and now get all of the stuff that I dropped. Ah, uh, that's not good. One second. I need to light up this area, I guess. <sighs> ah, I, I, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's um, hit him with the axe. God, I almost killed my cow. That would have been horrible. I would need to get another one in here. Are you playing with a specific mod pack or do you make it yourself? Um, I made it myself. You can find the mods in the Discord. Um, in the Minecraft channel. It's pinned the mod pack that I made. Okay, how do I want to go out like here? So if I click there, and I think this is the right spot now. Good. Mm -hmm. Um, I do actually want to change this a bit though. So it's there. So it's both down. All right. So now we've got a little spot to get this chest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna have to lead a, a farmer villager back here um, and put like, I don't know, he's gonna be able to get through here unless I put something to block him, huh? Um, this kind of works as a bit of a block, but I don't think it looks too great there. Maybe I need to uh, switch out something here to like a fence gate. Well then, but no, he's still going to be able to pathfind up here, right? So what I should do is build that up a bit so he can't jump out here and he won't be able to jump there. Um, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to need to block this too, won't I? So we'll just have this down and... Do that. So now you have to flick this up to get through and can jump. Uh, maybe that doesn't work. One sec. At this point, you might as well add a text, text notice on your OBS layer thing saying the mod pack uh, at Discord. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, I, I can do that right now. 
in seconds. Um, add um, where is it? Where is my it's image media text? So I'm gonna add text source and say uh, add a new source. Please enter the name of the source. Uh, mod pack. Okay. Add and then that mod pack is gonna be um, text mod pack. Okay, wait. Check Discord for mod pack. Okay. And then let's change the color to like orange. Done. Okay, bye. See ya. See ya. Un unspoken. Um, and now I can grab this and you can see it right here, right? Um, and I'll just move it um, like up, up here or something. Yeah, or maybe up down here next to the chat. Speaking of the chat, maybe I should make the chat a little larger. It's kind of small, isn't it? Okay. Then the, the uh, maybe over here. No, I'll just put it up here. Check Discord for mod pack. You guys can see that, right? Okay. I think yeah, I think I think it's visible, right? All right. So now let's get back into it. Oh, that's kind of the uh, in the way of the map, though. Um, so maybe I should. Huh? Where do I put it? I'll shrink it down. Oops, shrink it down a touch, and then just put it next to the chat, like right, right here or something. This is not a best place for this, and I'll just turn it off when I'm streaming something different. I guess <laughs> it's kind of scuffed, but whatever. Um. Let's add, well, let me add a border to that too. Uh, one second. Properties. I want it to have a outline. Um, and let's just make the outline be black. All right. Done. So hopefully that's a bit more visible now. Put it up next to the map, maybe. Eh, I guess, yeah. Whoa, which is, uh, yeah, yeah, yikes. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. Put it up there then. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. Yeah, hopefully uh, people will be able to see that. So we've got this kind of jungle back here. It's pretty cool, I reckon. Um, let's uh, also do something like this. Oops. Could I help you a bit? Um, uh, with what, Eugene? Eugene, yeah. No, this is supposed to be a pretty chill stream, so I, I don't mind answering questions. I'm trying to move items from a uh, moving contraption to a chest. Yeah, so you don't know how the PSIs work, right? I'm guessing. 
I'll build a I'll build a small demonstration. Um so a lot of people are confused on this stuff. Um the portable storage interfaces when they link up, uh they do not automatically move items. So let's say let's get I think I have some PSIs up here that I need to move down anyway. Yeah. So what you need is so you've got a portable storage interface here, and then you've got a portable storage on your moving contraption, and it links here. So what you need is either a hopper or a chute or a funnel pulling out of the stationary um, PSI, um, because the all this does is it is it um, acts as a proxy. It does not do any pulling whatsoever. So you need to pull from it yourself. Um, yeah, so under the receiving one, either use a uh, andesite funnel or uh, if you want to filter it, you use like a brass funnel or a chute. A chute works. Um, a chute under it. But basically, um, pretend that the portable storage interface that isn't moving is, is the chest, right? So you need to pull out from it. You need to pull out from the stationary one. Yeah, tried pulling the funnel under the stationary. I uh, I think you're doing something wrong then, um, because that that works. I I I mean, I'll I'll show it even. One second. Um. Let's get a hopper. Oh, you know what? Let's let's use a funnel, right? Where's my andesite funnels? I don't have any. Let me have a look. I'll prove it works. Oh yeah, is the funnel going the right direction? Oops. So when you place the funnel down, uh, one sec. Um, it's the wrong way. So this way, and you got a PSI on it. Um, this will pull if this is stationary and you've got your moving PSI here um, This will move here the graininess of the video is Intense whenever you move about what's up with that. I think uh, it's probably my bit rate. Yeah um, This will pull this will pull um, I, I Don't know what you're doing, but that does pull from it uh, You need like a chest under it or, or under the funnel though, right? Otherwise, it doesn't have anything to pull into, like a chest or a, uh, um, all right, I, I guess I'm, I'm going to have to build a, a moving contraption to, to see if this issue is, um, constant. One second. Let me get this super glue. I have a bearing somewhere, right? Um. Need one of these, two of these. <sighs> Zachary Kaplan. Oh, Zach. <laughs> hey. So, um, how do I? I need a. I've got something. Um, so let's just do this and this. Come on. I'm just setting up a short demonstration. The machine stops for two seconds. Oh wait, so it is, so it is pulling. It's just not pulling for long. 
Yeah, that's because you don't have a buffer. Um, if it is pulling, but not pulling for long enough, it's because um, the andesite funnel, uh, it... It's probably, yeah, I, I think... One sec, let me get um, some chests. And like that, I think. And if I were to have a funnel over here and a chest there and it pulls and now I have another chest here and it has like um, this stuff in here. See? Um, so it will uh, link up and oh, wait a second. I think these are too close together. One second. I think they need to be further apart. Um, like there. Wait. They need two block space. So, if we just go like this, they link, and they unlink, and the items are here. See? It works. You might have had the problem I just had just there, is in that they were too close together. You need, um... Yeah, it says one, the tooltip says one to two blocks apart. One second. You need to have face, face each other and be spaced one to two blocks apart. Um, I guess it has to be two. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a bug that it doesn't work with one, but it sh I'd imagine it should, but. Um, I think they can't be, maybe they can be like, it can't be exactly one block, but if it's like uh, one and a half blocks, um, three hours breaking my head and watching videos, damn tooltip, huh? Anyway, let's get stuff out of my inventory. There we go. Um, chests go in here, I think. No, no, chests go in the wood chest. Well, I'm glad you got that figured out. Anyway, you gained a new sub. Yeah, cheers, man. Ah, uh, let me stretch. <sighs> Whew. Um, what should we do? Yeah, let's get this uh, tea shop like fully decorated. So we were considering doing Nixie tubes the spell at tea, right? We don't have letters, right? I don't have neon craft in installed. Like if I look up tea, um, that would not. Well, actually, no. I could just look up at neon. I do not have neon craft, so we don't have letters. Um, so I need to use the Nixie tubes, but Nixie tubes can only um say stuff if you've got um yeah with a name tag, right? So we'd need two Nixie tubes.
Anyway, so I've got another chest in my inventory I can get rid of even. Um, all oh, right. Um, I was gonna say in the most recent uh patch of Create, they update. Um, they fixed it so in one point sixteen you can actually harvest leaves automatically now. Um, so I might want to set up a system like that for trees. But I mean, for now I'll just manually input for tea. We've got so much tea backed up, we never need to worry about it. But um, anyway. So, yes, we wanted to decorate. So, apart from the Nixie tubes, which I'll, like, I'll probably put, like, over here or something, and, like, have it span over three and have, like, tea. Um, I mean, it kind of says it already here, but... Could be cool to have a couple, like, retro kind of looking displays. Um, or maybe here on the counter. We'd need to dedicate two spaces for it is the only thing that's annoying because it's a odd it's an odd word and uh <laughs> it's just slightly annoying. Anyway, so let's um let's maybe have some tables here. In your videos you mentioned there was an issue with the one pro. Yes, it's been resolved. It's been resolved as of create 0.3c. Um so I could reinstall it, I just haven't yet. Yeah, it was in the patch notes. Yeah, so if you install 0.3c, um, one probe no longer causes issues with trains. Um, anyway, so I want to go and get some tables. Let's go with one of those. And what can my tabletop be? Hmm, actually, actually I've got a different idea. Um, let's have a look at window. Let's see, so we've got birch window. All right, let's do one of those. That creates two, so I'm gonna need three sets of that. Now let's do this. Um, and let's go. Hmm. This space. Um, we'll do something like that, right? And then we can go also can have a table here and here. Um, actually, maybe I want to use depots as tables. I don't know. I'll switch them out later if I feel the need to. Let's use the birch. No, not the birch trap doors. Um, not the. Uh, maybe maybe spruce is fine. Let's try it. I do have a bit of brown in here, so I can have a table here, and here. Um, yeah, I think that works. And then we'd have another table here. Um, and let's do some like bar stools. Do we have any like actual stool blocks or? No, we've got toadstool. Um, so I guess we just go for, what's a cool like chair design? Seats. Oh, we can. You can use seats. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we can use seats. Okay. So. Or. Hmm. Actually, I got another idea. So, how does a 
Does this work as like a chair? It looks like a very uncomfortable chair, that's for sure. Um, what if I shift? No. Um, what I need to dig down to get this. not bad right that's a pretty cool chair design uh yeah but it'll be a bit high off the ground won't it oh i place these blocks backwards i want the die right on the top so this is not a bad chair design um but i don't think it'll work for this purpose right so let's go and cut that. Hmm. In that case, I guess I'll just use seats, yeah. Bitrate is dying. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, my internet is like is real limited so I can't um I can't really stream at a higher bit rate or I think it'll actually look worse um that bar chair is good for table um yeah it's not gonna work here because the height wouldn't work out but um Yeah, sorry about that. I don't really have the income to help upgrade the house internet either, so. So anyway, let's get a bunch of chairs. So it's just white wool and, and okay. Pretty easy. So let's get a bunch of these. Let's get like 20. There's a chair block included in create. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, but I, I wanted like bar stools, kind of. Because th this kind of looks bad, doesn't it? Um, it'll be better if we like do this, but uh, actually maybe we'll use signs. Oops. Um, or maybe I don't want to put this one there. Oh, you can't um, shift click to pick these up. Okay. Um, yo, yo, what up, my guy? How's it going? Could you somehow link the exact mod cat using these streams in the near future? Um, it's not an official mod pack, so it's not on CurseForge. You will have to, uh, download it yourself. And it's custom, so. Um, damn, I can't really place a back to all of these chairs, can I? How's it going? I'd say, um, apart from the stream, uh, bitrate apparently failing miserably, it might be better on Twitch if, um, people want to check there. Um, I read both chats, so it's not like you'll be missing out. But I think the quality on Twitch is generally better. Like the tank, uh, the bitrate doesn't tank as much. Anyway, let's uh, get some birch signs. You really like my portable drill thing? Cheers. Yeah, I still need to build it in this world, but.
Wait, oh, I made trapdoors. That's not what I meant. I meant to make signs. I mean, I'll use them eventually, so I'm not mad, but... Hello, message. Sorry, I'm not sure how to say your name. Okay, so we can do... Whoops. We can do that. Um, and I think that's enough. Thank you for the follow, Hyper Builder. Yeah, I think the decoration could use a bit of work, but... Um... See ya. Hope you have a nice school day. Um, so what, should I put like some kind of, uh, something to fill the space in the center here? Like, we need more clutter-ish kind of stuff. Um, what, what would happen if I used birch windows? I still have a problem of using more official U uh, YouTube cannons polish so well. Um, okay. Okay, I think this is better. It's not so close that you can't see the depots. Um, you can kind of see through it. I think that doesn't look too bad. Um, and it fills the space a little better. Did they remove uh, motors in the new version? No, it's it still exists. It's just creative only. Um, because, like, obviously it's creative only. It's infinite power with no setup. Just because you got to a certain point in the game. It was dumb for it to be um, survival anyway. So I'm glad they moved it to creative only. Okay, so let's kind of think about... We want this space to be pretty open, but like, not this open maybe, so, let's see, can we kind of like, close it off just a little bit, let's get some stuff like this. So yeah, I want to be able to go through, um, maybe we might actually just need like a, a fence going around. I mean, let's, let's put one here at the very least. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Perfect amount. Um, oh, and we were also, there was, we had a creeper spawn. So let's just place a few torches back in here. So, right there. And I think this lights up everything. Yeah. Just pressed F7, didn't see any dark spots. Well, windmills are the new motors, they are strong. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, actually, like, they're not the best, but they're cheap and easy and strong. They just take a big amount of space, which I think is a good thing, but. But windmills are strong, you're right. Hmm, I'm trying to think what else to add um, to this shop front um, to like make it look a little better. Uh, I like I think we're doing pretty well. And then what we wanted this to be our kind of block here. No, that's not gonna work. This, I mean, we can we can just do that.
We could also put a fence gate right here. Um, we, first of all, we want to block that off and then, well, let's, um, also kind of finish these walls. Um, I think, uh, I don't want to add depth here, but I do want to, or I don't want to add like a full block depth there, but I'll put some stuff around. I came across your content randomly, but it's been very interesting so far. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Um, anyway, let's get, let's get some layered dolomite and then let's get some, uh, hmm. Some get some fancy dolomite and the fancy walls and then um, maybe that's enough. Yeah, uh, let's also get some polished stairs. Yeah. Polished stairs. So if we were to go back here now, oh god, it's kind of hazy in here. Is that is that just me or is like is there like actual fog? Are my eyes tired maybe? I don't know. Or is it because it's just dark? This is weird, right? Oh, Eugenio, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it a lot. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's actually get some stuff done there. So let's do something like that and then do that. Oh, okay. I should, uh, turn the notifications off. Hopefully no one saw that. And then we can go like this. Um, actually let's, um, switch these around. It's like that, and then like that. So, I think that makes this wall a little more interesting. Um, I feel like the villager might get stuck here in like Pathfinder really weirdly, but... Um, the only thing now is to try and get a, a villager over here, but... Hmm. Uh, all right. There, there's one thing I want to test. I'm gonna go to a creative world. Um, I want to test if you can pick up villagers on minecart contraptions if they're in seats. So let's go to a test world. This one. Okay, so um, if you just go over here to this flat area in my test world and, um, oops, Percy Creeper, hello. Um, so what I wanted to do was I needed to test, um, oh god. I'm using create with mine colonies. That's where I get my villages from. Yeah, I'm not using mine colonies though. I'm, I'm, I've got villages around. I just, I want to find a good way to transport them. So let me get a cart assembler. Oops. Um, let's cart assembler. And I want a seat. And let me just get some super glue. And I need a villager spawn egg. And let's get a, just a block, so let's get some andesite. Uh, and rails. And uh, we also need a wrench, that's right. Okay, so if I were to go 
place this here, this here. Oh, I'm also going to need a lever. And we can just place that. Whoops. Um, place that there. We'll place the cart inside and then this here. And stick all this together over here. Now, if I were to go and actually, I think I need to stick these on too. Let's just place some seats. Now, if I were to have some villagers here, um, or can I, whoops, I want to get them in the seats. Um, I think maybe I need to turn this on. Nope, they, they don't want to like get in the seats, huh? One second. Oh, I missed something interesting. Uh, what are you up to? I'm trying to see if I can uh, pick up a villager in a seat. Let me, if I um, just do this. Um, I need them to like pathfind to the seat. So, come on, get in that seat. Come on, man. Um. Are any of these villages in these seats? I think um these villages are in seats. So I think what I can do now is Nope, okay, that didn't work. Um Because you can pick up mine con cart contraptions with a wrench, I was wondering if uh it would pick up the villages in the seats. Uh but apparently it does not, so I guess that's a lost cause. If we want to transport a villager, we'll have to like shove them in a boat or something. Um, yeah. Moving, I, I know you can move a villager with a regular micro. I know how to move a villager. I just wanted to, it would be much easier if I could do it like that. Um, so we'll use a boat or a minecart. Minecart's a little more annoying. Um, boat, I think I could probably do easier. Um, let me just go into my survival world real quick. Would a boat stay on a carriage? No, I don't, and I don't think, um, nothing will stay on a carriage. Can I play full screen? Oh, does the, the little thing bother you? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, one second. There we go. I usually don't play on full screen. I, I prefer a windowed, but um, um, I guess I've got two screens, so it doesn't matter too much anymore. Um, I do really quickly though, need to go and take a toilet break. Whoop, that didn't work. There we go. I'll take a toilet break uh, and I'll be right back. I am back. 
Um, I just found that you can basically make a big railway machine. It looks like a bridge that'll make a bridge when needed. It'll make holes if needed if you put racels. So basically as big as a train. All right, you can do a lot of things with this mod. Um, two monitors gang. Yeah, I only uh, actually recently um, got my second mod uh, working. Um, uh, or my second monitor working. Uh, I did. I only had a display port um, on my graphics card open, and I didn't have a monitor that used the display port cord, so I, I had to purchase an adapter. So, so I didn't have a proper two screens before. Um, anyway, um, I I did find out that uh, my family has <laughs> already cooked dinner while I was streaming, and they didn't tell me. Well, they didn't want to disturb me. So, um, I'm gonna not have the stream go too much longer probably just do another uh 20 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll call it a uh, night and i'll stream tomorrow again yeah um so anyway is this enough do we need to add a bit of stuff here or no um like i know we could automate some of this by having the uh um, like the bottles auto input, but I don't think we really need to do anything too serious like that. Smacks, we'll see you soon. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Um, so let's just do a bit of grunt building and talk. So let me get some acacia wood and some dark scoria. Um, do I have die? There we go. Let's just make two stacks. Do I have a Discord server? Yes, it's in the description. It's 9.40 in the morning for me to talk about dinner. It's confusing. Yeah, that's how time zones be sometime. Um, so anyway, let's get a bunch of layered. Um, and then I also need some polished stairs. Then the rest can also be uh, layered. And then I need a bunch of acacia wood. So let's um, do some more of these pillars that we've got going around. Um, so I'm not going to use the elevator since we still haven't installed a call button on that elevator. Um, oh, and I needed to replace some of the stuff here because it got burnt up. I think I have removed the lava now, so it won't get burnt up again, but... Um, let's get my extender group. And did it also, it also broke two up there, so... Let me see, do I have enough, um... Scaffold or something? No. Um, but maybe enough rope. There we go. So we can do that and then we can, um, Oops, we also actually need to get rid of that lava then. I don't think it's close enough, but just in case. Let's um, get rid of a bit more of this. Okay, and then we can place some cobble right there. Oh, that wasn't cobble, whatever. We're going to be breaking it in a second. So then we can get those. Um, let's 
get that and um, get that. So let's uh, move on to the next stuff. I think we can just do this. So let's get that stuff out of the way. Please don't put uh, put links in in chat, Wolf. Um, other way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I love how you gain six hundred subs in a week. Yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Um, so many people are uh, coming for the create stuff. I think I found. Oh, wait, actually, one second. I, I put this in the wrong spot. Um, let me change this real quick. I, I think I found in the new create parts for boats. No, no, you wouldn't have. Um, there is nothing for boats in create. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, one second. Create is a good mod, but not a lot of places to get good info. Um, if you just hold the shift over any create item, it'll tell you what it does, though. Uh, also, the advancements kind of take you through how the mod works. Um, there you go. Um, Die Wolf Pack just released has create, yeah, but to be fair, Die Wolf has like every mod, so. Not surprised YouTube algorithm gave me the stream and recommendation, maybe because I'm heavily interested in create mod despite not having Minecraft. Also, I think create was in a, in the a previous version of the Die Wolf Pack anyway. I don't think it's a recent addition to Die Wolf Pack. I think it's just recently people have been finding out about Create because um, uh, because of the 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 um, trailer blew up. Um, yeah, the trailer just blew up recently. Um, I went one too high. Come on. Uh, like this. It's the right height, right? Yeah. I mean, Die Wolf has a pack, like, maybe I'm thinking of a, you know what, I might be thinking of like a dev, um, like a dev pack for testing out new mods, um, but Die Wolf played on it, um, that might be where my confusion is coming from, but it's, it's not a new mod, and, and it's been, like, pretty popular in the, um, what's it called, the, um, modding scene for 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 like 1.14 plus mods um like i mean i've known about it um since 1.14 so before before it released 1.15 i knew about it yeah i think you got the forgecraft dev server in mind yeah i think i did you're probably right Can you illuminate there to see what you're building? I mean, I'm just building the same thing over and over here. Um, is it really dark? I don't think it would be, right? 
Um, I, I'll up the brightness though if if it's if it's too low. I usually play on fifty percent brightness, but. How's the train selector coming together though? Um, me? You mean like the video I, I released? Um, I haven't uh, built a train selector, I just mused on the idea. You need a pillar building machine? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I don't mind placing these pillars down manually, to be honest. Um, I could actually make a schematic cannon schematic and and do it that way. Um, like, I have a schematic for these crossbars um, that automatically builds, but these pillars are so simple that I, I kind of um, I find it a bit therapeutic to do it like this, so... Mirror Wand is survival, I just don't have the stuff for it yet. We might um, actually do that just before I end out the stream though. Because um, I, I thought that um, Mirror Wand was gated behind uh, behind the, the Wither, but apparently it's not. Um, so I guess I will do that in a second, one sec. So I've done, I did this this, 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 and then I go like, and kind of, I want to like latch these pillars on the side of the hole, or on the side of the, the wall. That's what I'm kind of doing. Um, yeah, rather than the, the creative, um, the mirror one, yeah, I could, I could definitely use that. That would actually make this several times easier. One sec, let me get um, just some of this. Cap that. Okay. Yeah, I think we, if we just have a lot of light sources, um, we can make refined radiance and get some stuff with that. So, uh, to get the chromatic compound though, the thing we need the most is this blaze. Okay, we can make this pretty easily. Um, it's it's the... Actually, can we make everything pretty easily? Maybe we can. One sec, let me have a look up here. The, the main difficulty... Um, would be that we want to get the uh, the lava into <laughs> like like the most difficult thing would actually just be getting lava into a, a spout, which is very easy. But you can't just bucket it in; you need to pump it in. So, which is a little annoying. There we go. Um, oh god, when did this happen? Okay. Um, we've got nothing here. We should pack all this up. I just want to get that. Okay. 
Hello, yes, hello, Apex. Okay. Ash the fastest swap in the West. <laughs> Do you stream every day on YouTube? I try to. Um, I stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. It's So it's never one or the other. Can you see stream chat? I can. I can see stream chat. Sorry, there, there's probably a bit of delay. Um, I know after streaming on a while, YouTube like just suddenly increases the the stream delay for some reason. Uh, thank you, Evig, for the follow. Let's just put stuff away for now, though. Hello, I'm in the US East and I have insomnia. What's up? Uh, <laughs> create 0.3 is so good. Yeah, you're right. It's great. I just made an elevator. It's really cool. Yeah, elevators. Yeah, very, very fun to make. Oh, wait. I need food. Am I on YouTube as well? Yes, yes, I am. Um, you can see both of the chats in the, in the, um, the corner over here, right there. Pretty sure both of them show up. Um, it's not nighttime. Why am I trying to sleep? So hopefully that means that, uh, you can see what I'm responding to all the time. Um, so what, I, uh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not actually streaming for uh, too much longer gyro, so I'm not sure I can help your insomnia. But yeah, um, to answer the question, I think I got cut off, or I cut myself off, is um, um, I do try to stream every day, um, and I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, uh, all the time, whenever I'm streaming, so. Thank you for the follow, Dragon76MX. Um, so, God, I, I still kind of want to fill out this area just a tad. I don't know what to put here though. Um, like we'll fill, I'll move the villager probably another time. US East Gang, the lack of school and a job and a bedtime make it able to catch your streams. I usually um don't stream at this time. I usually stream around noon in Australia, but um, but it's uh, it's uh, pretty it's later than I usually stream because my sleep schedule is pretty fucked up. Oh, it's me, Eugenio. Just switched to on Twitch. Ah, oh, okay. Um, what was I doing? Hey, I'm thinking about playing create mode with my friends. Is it hard to get into? Does this mod perform well? Um, this mod has like a surprisingly great performance. Um. I haven't had much uh, problems at all, so uh, with, with running it. Um, if you do like really big, big moving constru um, constructs, sorry, constructions, then yeah, it might get a little laggy. But um, for instance, if I go to my my tea maker right here, um, all of this causes like no lag, all right? All of this crap, no lag at all. So. And, and like I don't have uh, that bigger like I also I don't play with many mods I I don't like playing with a lot of mods I prefer playing very few mods um, so I'd say it really depends on like on the server or the PC um, on whether it will lag but as long as you don't go too, 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 sorry I can't even speak as long as you don't go too crazy with the um, structures it shouldn't be a big problem I'm not in a server no. Um, TPS like I don't know about TPS like I, I, so I can't help in that, in that, uh, avenue. God, I'm like, I'm sorry for all the new, uh, the new people that just, uh, joined in, but, um, I think I do want to end the stream just about now. Um, a bit of a shorter one. 
uh, less than three hours, but um, I do want to say thank you for everyone coming by. Um, and and I appreciate all the support. Um, the VODs are, as always, um, recorded for YouTube as well. So, yeah. Um, I hope everyone has a nice day. And uh, goodbye.